Welcome back, fuckers. Alrighty, today we are going to kick off sortie number five. So we're up to turn number four. So it's going to be a, uh, a morning mission. So it's five o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'll just leave it as is. I'm not going to change the time or anything like that. So it's going to be night time. And we are just in the mission screen here, or the mission generator DCS liberation screen. So let's have a quick look at what we're up against. So they have replenished. So we did wipe out all their cap aircraft last sortie, which was nice. So they've got four F4Es and two F14A Tomcats in the mix. They've got two Mi-24 helicopters and four Su-25s. Also got on the front line, six M60 tanks and two BTR-80s. All right, so that is sweet. So that's what we're up against, six cap aircraft. And... On the base itself, we are looking at just the strellas and stuff. Strella, strella, strellas. So I'm going to assign uh, some AI aircraft to actually attack these units. Uh, but we're going to set ourselves up. We're going to firstly set up some cap here. So we're going to go escort, or sorry, our bar cap, tar cap. That's what we want. Uh, what do we got? F-15s. We've got two of them. We're going to go, yep. They can take off, we'll go ASAP. So they can get up there and start doing their work. So two F-15s and we'll also add in a flight of two F-16s. Uh, Tarkap F-16, create. Uh, there we go. So now we have got the F-15s and F-16s, four cap aircraft heading up. They'll be there in 16 minutes on station. So they're going to do their work. We're also going to make another package. We're going to go add flights, CAS A10s. Let's make it uh, make it two, create ASAP. And we're going to make these guys take off. Uh, let's go 15 minutes from mission start. All right, so there's that. And we'll also, what have we got left? Uh, Harrier F16, we've got two F16s left. Might send our other two F-16s up as escort potentially, or tar cap. We'll go tar cap, create. All right, and that should be all good. I'll just do that again though. Two, three, four, five, 15 minutes. There we go, beautiful. Save. Now, the question is, what are we gonna fly? So there's no, uh, we've got, what have we got left at Lewa Airfield? Um, I don't think we've got anything left, actually. So let's go right-click here, new package. What aircraft? We've got Harrier, Hornet, or the Tomcat. So I'm thinking we might take the Harrier out. I might take out the, the Harrier, and uh, we'll try and do some ground attack on the frontline units. All right, so we're going to do that. We'll take the Harrier out at night time. I'm still um, trying to learn the Harrier again. It's, a lot's changed since I've been flying it or since I've flown it last. So we're going to go ASAP. Uh, we're going to go edit. We're going to change our waypoints. Delete all this shit. Delete, delete, delete. Come on. Delete. We're going to add our own custom waypoints in. So I'm going to put, I think it's Pug. P -p -p Pug is our friendly Pug. There we go. So this is our friendly Hawk site. Uh, sorry, Patriot site. I'm just going to put one of these in it for our waypoint so we can kind of loiter over. Uh, I'll show you what Pug should be. That one. There we go. So our friendly Patriot site. So we're going to have that as our fallback to because um, in the in the Harrier, we don't, we don't have a radar, so we, we're pretty much sitting ducks if we get jumped by cap aircraft. So we're going to have Waypoint 1 as the uh, this Patriot site there. And we're going to add in a few more Waypoints now. So Waypoint 2 can be the front line add. And then add Waypoint 3 can be El Dafra Air Base. Add that. And that should be all we need. Pretty sure. We might also add in uh, one more waypoint just for Lewa, just in case we want to divert in an emergency. Lewa, if we get hit by something. 
add that in. Add, Lee was going to be waypoint number five. All right, uh, ASAP, done. All right, so that is our loadout or our, our mission plan. So we've got a flight of four, two F-15s, two F-16s taken off as soon as the mission will load in. We've also got 15 minutes later, two A-10s with two, an additional two F-16s getting airborne uh, to loot over the area. And then we've got us as well coming off of the Tarawa and we're going to head down to waypoint number one first. And we're just going to, we're just going to loiter around waypoint one until uh, the cap aircraft are taken care of and then we'll push in and try and uh, take some stuff out. So we'll take uh, some GBUs, some JDAMs and maybe some Mavericks. We'll see how we go. But that's the plan, guys. That's the plan. Hope you've been enjoying it. Uh, it's been pretty fun learning how to trust AI. I don't have much trust in them at all, um, but we'll see. We'll see how they go. So we got two Tomcats and four F4s. So hopefully between six cap aircraft, they can um, take care of those guys. There's no SAM threats in the area anymore, so they shouldn't be getting shot down by SAMs. We've got SAMs on our side, so fingers crossed this goes well. So I'll see you guys in the mission editor in a jiffy. Actually, before we uh, kick in the mission editor, we're going to, we've got 188 million. I totally forgot to replace our aircraft here. So we'll, let's have a look. Got 188 million to spend. Didn't even, fucking, fuck, forgot about all of, oh, forgot about that. Ground forces, what have we got? So we've got four paladins. We might buy a couple more of those. Uh, we'll buy a couple more of those. A couple more tanks. We've got 90 mil remaining. Airfield command, let's buy... Another couple of F-15s. We've got 46 mil left. Um, maybe we might buy some Apaches, potentially. No, we can only buy one. Um, hmm. What are we going to buy? What are we going to buy? I want to keep the carrier-based aircraft, so the Hornet, the Tomcat, and the Harrier. I want to keep them out on the fleet, on the actual um, the carriers themselves, and use them from the sea and make them come in and do flights or strikes from the sea and then return back to the carrier. That's my plan anyway. Um, so we might go, we've got 46 mil remaining. What are we going to blow it on? We could just hold it. Um, F-15s. So we might buy an, maybe another two, buy another two F-16s just in case we do cop because we're sending all of our 16s out on this sortie. So if for some, some freak reason... We lose all of them. We're going to have no F-16s on the next round. Um, so we'll buy a couple more. So we'll just try and stockpile some aircraft. So that'll do us for that. All right, so now I will see you guys in the mission editor in a second. Righto, guys, here we are. We're in the mission editor. Let's have a quick squizzy. Um, we might move. Where is our KC-130? So this is one we're going to be able to use for the, uh, the Harrier to tank. So we're going to move this guy uh, over here. Just so we can, if we want to, we can um, grab some gas and continue to attack the, the sites. Um, we've got our frontline units here. Where the hell is AWACS? Where are you? AWACS is all the way up here. Let's move him down. So there. 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 All right, AWACS is doing its thing. And I think that is pretty much going to be it. We've got our Harrier there for us. So remember the cal zone at the moment, uh, the carrier groups aren't included. So if you want to do AI strikes off of the carriers and you've got cal zone enabled, um, it doesn't actually work yet, but they are going to fix it. So don't stress, it will be coming. Uh, it will be a thing. So you'll be able to actually use AI aircraft to do strikes um, from the carrier groups. Cool. So let's, uh, let's get this one started. We're going to go fly. Yeah, we'll save it. Can't hurt. All right. Starting the sortie up now. The Harrier. Alrighty, guys, we are in the jet. Let's get this bad boy started. So let's get a loadout here before we do anything. Uh, what are we going to take? We're going to go this combat mix. That'll do. Um, probably go maybe more chaff than flare. So potentially going to be getting engaged by uh, pesky tomcats if all shit goes. Crazy, Next we got. and let's start up. Start Copy. the good old Harrier up. Turn on those. Turn on that. Like that. That. 
turn on our MFDs. Volume that 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 battery on, and we're gonna go engine start. Now she's spilled up. So we're looking for 9.2. Uh, while we're doing that, let's arm the seat. Turn on our, our lights. And we're going to put our throttle into idle. Turn that off. Rearm is complete. We're going to add ground power to the aircraft. So when you're doing a, uh, a tarot, or starting on the aircraft carrier, tarot, you put ground power on it. Next to Sims cable, this lets you do a you know, carry alignment, seal alignment. You don't have to punch any waypoints in there. Ground power is now on. So this is Sims power run. So now we're going to come down here, we're going to turn on our flare pod, DMT, probe heater. That's all we need there. And we're going to go to the E shed, data, aircraft. I don't think you have to do any of this stuff, but uh, we'll do it and then just let it go. That's just gonna do its thing. While that's happening, let's have a look at our stores page. We'll get our IR Mavs on put it out. And set to red, like we do. And uh, what do we got? Laser Mav, we can set our code, 1688. God oh, damn you. Uh, we've got to set that in the uh, DMT, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, JDAM, set our fusing for that. Ints. Our GBU12s, same deal. Ints. And I think that's it. That's all we need to do with that. Titan pod is turned on, flare pods on. Turn down our flood lighting a bit. Shut the canopy. And we're just waiting on our INS alignment to go. Uh, I think it's com to AWS. What? Oh, that's cool. All right, so there we go. We've got. Now, Overlord COM2 Channel 2, so we're going to COM2 Channel 2, AWACS is tuned in, and our waypoint is, we're going to head for PUG, our Patriot first, so once this is done its thing, get out of there, we get waypoint number, actually I'm not going to let us yet, because the INS is doing its thing, waypoint 1, waypoint 1. Alright, so let's have a quick squeeze at the F10 view. Take all that off. So we should have, there you go, our F-15s are, F-16s are airborne first. F-15s are right behind them. Taken off. Go you good things. Uh, let's get rid of that. All right, so F-15s and F-16s are airborne. They're gonna go and loiter around. We've got our ground units are moving. Should be engaging some targets there, which is good. And then we are going to help on the front line slash uh, up at the actual uh, airfield up there, destroy some shit at El Dafra. All right, so let's have a quick squeeze. Almost there, 18 seconds to go. Turn that off. I don't like having the map there. It annoys me. I just have rather of a blank screen. All right, so also we're gonna go flaps to stall. Our nozzles are full forward. We are in no foot steering mode. And we're good. Quality 0.7 okay. So we're gonna come over here, go to nav mode. And then if we waypoint one, there we go. So we've got to waypoint one, 45.4 nautical miles. So we're gonna go ahead and taxi. Just remember, in a Harrier, parking brake lever. And then just near it, one, one. Overlord, one, one. is the throttle cutoff. So if you hit the throttle cutoff, 
all the startup you have to do again you have to do your INS alignment again so make sure you go parking brake lever turn that off and then your throttle will actually work all right so we're in a taxi We got to disconnect ground power. Strip the power card out. That's fine. Every time, it's always something. So now we're going to go to, no, not that, altitude. Altitude, we're going to turn that off because otherwise it beeps at you. Don't worry about that. Uh, we want to go water to take off. Yeah, water cooling for the engine. Uh, we're going to go to anti-skid on. So we're in caster. And that should be all we need, I think. Where's our landing lights? There we go. And lights on. Get those on. on. Alright, lights are on. Brakes on. Let's spool this fucker up. Brakes off. Nozzle back 60. And we go gear up. As we start to increase in speed, I'm pushing the nozzles forward so you can see our nozzle position there. 52 degrees nozzles, flaps are 61. So I'm just pushing our nozzles slowly, slowly forward. Trying to keep positive speed on the aircraft. We're going to go flaps to auto as well. Getting some speed up, keep pushing the nozzles forward. Full forward, we'll turn our water off now. And we're going to roll out at bearing 169, which is waypoint one. All right, so now we're going to go to nav mode. And just trim our aircraft out of touch. Put on our AFC, which is kind of like when you press this button here, so you turn on, you can use your trim, trim hat to kind of steer the Harrier. So I'm just tapping trim and you can see it's just going to hold wherever you move the trim hat to, it just holds it. That's where we got a, uh, a bit of a flight in, 40 mile, and we'll just wait at waypoint one until we get a bogey dirt clear. And uh, hopefully, we're going to go and uh, do our work. Ground attack in the Harrier. So let's set some things up now. So we've got our HUD is in night mode. FLIR is on. So now we're going to go to T-Pod. Go to standby. We're also, oh, before we do that, let's go to DMT. Code. And we're going to punch in. We'll make our own code for, for now. 1588. Just so we're deconflicting with the, um, uh, the JTAC that's down there. Enter, and now we're going to go to our oh, stores page. Laser Mav 1588 is done. Uh, we're also going to go to our T-Pod. Standby. I'm going to turn it on FLIR mode. Turn that down. Alright, so we are going to designate Waypoint 1. And it's going to slew our targeting pod over to waypoint one, which is our Patriot. Which is dead on the nose there. So you can see there, if we uh, zoom in, there's our Patriot site right there. Now to change, so at the moment our map is designated. Uh, map's designating the targeting or the area. So you've got to press sensor select. What is it? Uh, wait one, adjust controls. Sensor select down, HUD scene reject TGP. All right, as I press that, you'll see the map designate will change. So just pressing it, 
what would happen if you don't tpod des so now our targeting pod is designating the, uh, the area and we will have a if we wanted to drop a bomb on that it would be using our targeting pod as our designation point so just make sure if you're using the targeting pod make sure it says tpod des on the actual targeting pod uh, we can turn our laser on as well turn it from training to laser right now line up Slide that here as we head on in so just keeping an eye on here F-16s and F-15s. Uh, we can get a bogey doke actually. I thought that was a fucking missile, this thing. God damn it. Let's get a bogey doke. Overlord, 1-1. One, one. Dodge, 1-1. Request bogey dope. We're just going to hang just at the, uh, the Patriot side, just for a little while. Set our fuel state as well. Three five. One one. Clean. Clean, apparently. Right. So we'll just give it a little bit longer. So let's back off the throttle here. So blow through all of our gas. And what's our other waypoint? So we've got waypoint two is the front line, Liwa Air Base and Eldafa. Waypoint three is Eldafa. So we go waypoint. Should we switch to it? Designate. Not so it's over behind us there. So you can see where the targeting pod's looking, that little dot there, so that's in relation to the uh, aircraft direction, so it's looking over our left shoulder. Uh, so let's go ahead and make targeting pod designate HUD. Keep going. T pod, there we go. Ha! That's pretty cool. Look at that. You can see our... Uh, what the hell are they doing? Angle of attack much? Zoom in here. What the hell is that? What? What, what are they doing? Where are they? They are just cruising. At 190 knots. Look at the what? This is why I don't trust AI. Oh, Legit, just doing 160 knots at um, full up about it. So good. AI, what the hell are you guys doing? All right, so um, let's go ahead and select our cell. What do we want to use first? We might use our mavs first. We might go with the uh, IR map. The last round on. Last round on. Fuse is set to delay one. Station three is ready. All right, so we're going to use an IR map here to uh, take out our first target. I'm going sink to sink it to the targeting pod. So it decides to I'm gonna swing back around here. Use this trim. So 061. Roll back out here. Let me trim. Jesus. Trim much? Must have rolled to the right. 
So to the left. Turn that. Pump the throttles up a bit more. Alright, autopilot on. So we're in the clouds right now. Now, I believe if we press. Might not. Yeah, we get our HUD. See in the HUD now. Night vision in the actual HUD itself. Let's get another burger dope. So don't one, trust one, one, our AOX. Very much. There's some cloud going on here. Alright, what do we got? Okay, point track. Zoom right in. They look like some BTRs to me. It's gonna do. Now, if we go, we got here 33 mile. Till we get to the target area. So we got a little ways, little ways to go here. So you can see waypoint uh, two's there, the circle, and then where our target pod is looking is right there. T pod des, T pod des. So we're looking good there. So now we've got our IR map selected. We're going to press cage uncage in a little bit, and then we're going to press um, TDC press. I think it is. Wait, wait, one. Let's go. So we're going to press cage uncage. We'll turn our Maverick on. We're going to press sensor select forward INS. IRMAV, EOMAV, and then we're going to press TDC down action position to lock the Maverick up. So that's the buttons you want as we get closer to target area. So far, so good. I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting to get smacked by to get hit by a tomcat of some description. Oh, we didn't even... Oh, we did get night vision boys, thank god. Totally forgot about that. But, um... Alright, 22 mile. This is gonna be a while before we can um, launch this guy. Let's get using our water card here. Alright, where is our units? Where the hell did they go? They've moved. Tripping balls here. Uh, what? Right. There they are. It's weird. Target pod rigged out for a bit there. Let's, let's get on to that guy. Zoom in. Point track. Alright, so we're 11 mile now, so we're going to press cage uncage. We're going to press INS, ah, sorry, TMS sensor look forward, IR map, and we're going to go FOV in and press TDC action to press. A lock and a rifle. Now break away. Let's turn cold. And we'll hit his buddy there. Oh shit. Sensitive. Hit his buddy with the other uh, laser mouth. There we go. There we go. 
05313, let's get the fuck back. Boom. Shack attack on that guy. So one BTR is down. to the waypoint. Hopefully our, uh, our cap aircraft are going to do their job now. Overlord, one, one, dodge, one, one, request bogey dope. So we hit one. We hit him. Zero six five sixteen at fifteen hundred hot. So I'm just gonna get the fuck, get the fuck away. Okay. Doesn't Sixteen mile. We'll head back towards waypoint one. We're just going to loiter around, just uh, to be on the safe side. So let's get out there, and we'll have a looky. Where? Oh, there we go. Look, they're starting to uh, starting to push in. Three ninety eight knots. They're pushing in towards Eldafra there. Eldafra is this big old girl right here. Our ground units are still doing things. Looks like we've lost. Oh no, they're up here now. All right, so our cap aircraft are inbound. what we can see here. There's his buddy. It's friendly F-16. And then we should have the uh, F-15s. They're in trail. Alright, so we are back over the SAM site now. We've got our A-10s are taken off as well. And now cap aircraft, so our other F-16s are doing their thing now. So let's go ahead and be okay to come back around now. Let's go back to the two, designate, and T-Pod. Go back to T-Pod Des. And this time we're going to hit with the laser map. Laser map. Ground, laser map. Code 1588. T plus 1588. So we cruise around. Let's see those two guys. The other guy. And here we go. Missiles are out. Chopper down. Alright, choppers are getting airborne. So they just killed a chopper. That's good. Look at them swarming in. Another missile out. Aim nine. Oh, sneaky. Shooting them as they're getting airborne. Who's that? MiG-20... No, that's an F4. Missiles. Oh, my God. Good luck, sir. Yep. There's a flaming wreck. Hit by three of them. Holy shit. 
Another one. Boom. Oh, Cap is Cap is cleaning up here. <laughs> Holy fuck. Right, good job, Cap. Good fucking job. Doing some work. Now, to be fair, they um, yeah, have a lot of seals down there. So other aircraft didn't even get airborne. So as the, the mission develops further, we're not going to have... You know, it's going to be a bit more even, like they're going to be in the air as well. They'll be airborne as well as we will. So it'd be a bit more of a fighting chance, but at the moment, I'm not complaining. Cap doing their job. That's exactly what we wanted to do. All right, so let's uh, zoom out here. We're in flare mode. 24 nautical miles. Oh, we're not seeing anything. It's not probably because of cloud. So, so let's go ahead and descend. Lower here. Don't really need to be this high. Try and get under the clouds because they're being a pain in the ass. Alright, seems to be. Oh, we lost one. We lost the cap aircraft. What did we lose? Oh no, he's up there. We're okay. We're okay. Send down. Down a bit. Hold it on. What do we see? Is that EWR? So dark now. It's EWR again. Um, can you turn the brightness up on this thing? Better. What we got here. What the hell is that? It's just lights. Just lights. Oh, that's why, because I wasn't uh, in flu mode for some reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll circle back. Got a bit too close here. Can you see the JTAC laser? Something on fire over there. Oh, we're right over the top of that. Let's get the fuck back here. Oof. Ask him. Oh, that's why. Wait, two. Oh, that's bright. 
That would explain it. Flew too far. Let's head back here, bearing 171. Should be looking now. God damn. So many buttons in this thing now. Ah, there we go. Had it on contrast, not enough. Alright, so we'll extend away. Come back around, see what else we can see. So A10s should be in the area. Where are they? Yeah, they're over here doing some things. There's all our cap aircraft. They're doing some stuff. F15s cap. F16 cap. What a right over. see let's see what we can see now yeah, big fucking cloud again clouds are a pain in the ass aren't they There is, I'm guessing, is that JTAC? JTAC layer or JTAC smoke, potentially? Let's see. We'll get the coordinates up here so we've got day so we can actually read it. Uh, F10, JTAC. 24. No, don't think that is. It must be something else dead. Maybe that's one we killed.
Righto. Come on, see if we can see some things down here. Okay, come on, teapot, designate. What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? Boom, there we go. There's some units right there. You're gonna cop it. You're gonna get a laser mav for your APC there. Alright, 8.5 mile, we're gonna turn the laser on. Oh, shit. Hang on. Laser fire. Uh, laser man is selected. Turn it on. We get a lock. And rifle. Laser map doing its thing. And we got JDAMs and GB12 remaining. Just try and get these guys, these ground targets here. Bam, shack. Okay, just turn these off for now. Let's get on another one of these. track okay so we're gonna go let's go gbus gbu 12s extend away get a bit of uh, distance here so again this is i'm only doing this right of the airbase because our cap aircraft have done a brilliant job Overlord, to wipe the floor with everything taking off of the airfield no rules in war. Cap aircraft is still in. A10s are shooting some Mavericks and stuff. Okay, so now we are gonna swing around. So we're gonna roll out on bearing 128. So we're gonna work around here. Keep nice and level. One, two, four, now one, two, three. So it gives you a little mark there to roll out on the heading. 10 mile from target. Should give us a uh, time to drop now. It's popped up. One, one, three, almost there. Rolling out on the line. Out. Still needs to go to the left a bit. All right, nine seconds. So we're going to press and hold our weapon release. Three, two, one. The full line should come down and the weapon away. We're going to turn our laser on. And then we just lost line of sight through a. Uh, Cloud there. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. I'll cheap you. Should be hitting any time now. Bam, Shaq. So let's find our next target. Zoom in on you. Let's hit bingo there. 3,500 pound. Sun is coming up. So we'll just try and keep our. Uh, let's reset bingo for 2.8. We'll come back around. Um, go for JDAM this time. This will drop off um, for equal sides. We don't have too much 
Uh, so if we drop all of our GPUs off to one side, we're going to have three, three JDAMs on the left and none on the right. It's going to be a bitch to trim. Right, so we've got 10 mile. So as we come around on the JDAM, there's going to be a countdown timer. When it gets to 100, so it'll, it'll start counting up to 100. Once it gets to 100, we'll count back down to zero. When it gets to 100, that's when you want to drop and press the pickle button on the JDAM. So we're going to roll back around 290 is the heading we want. Okay, so it's counting up now. When it gets to 100, we're going to press weapon release. 80, 90, 100, weapon away. If we press... Switch back to the GBU. TGP, you son of a bitch. There you go, T pod does. So we could probably drop um, a JDAM and then switch targets to the GPU. Drop one on the way in, because the JDAM will be able to drop a little bit earlier. So there, that one there is what we're going to go after next. So this guy should be getting a JDAM delivered on him, so we'll just extend away now. Should have a uh, shack on that guy soonish. Bombs going in. Bam, there she goes. Shack. And we'll just extend away a bit so we're 5.6 mile away and we'll come back around. We'll get to about 7 mile. We'll hook back. We want to be on bearing 238. Zero seven three. Zero seven three. Want to be on? Let's go back around. So just using that reference mark there. We've also got an indication of the arrow the direction that you want to turn. So when that arrow is pointing straight in the middle of the HUD, there, you're good to go. Just get rid of all our bombs, and then we'll head back to the uh, to the tarot of RTB. Rolling out. Thirteen seconds to drop. Target is designated. Shoot ourselves out again. And that should be that group of four taken care of. We're going to have to. We might drop one more JDM and then we'll go get some fuel. Get a splash of gas. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Bam. Check. Right. Things are off. Zoom right out. And see if we can see any more units. Looks like we got some right there. Next one. Shuka. Alright, so you're going to get a JDAM, buddy. J down. Seven point eight mile. 
we're going to drop this one and we'll also while we're here there goes bingo again so we want arco to yankee attacking on to enter air to air to yankee done and on to it's two two eight so we go Right, let's go drop this JDM and then we'll go get some fuel. Tinker. Marco. Marco, one, one, Dodge, one, one, request rejoin. Dodge, one, one, Marco, one, one, proceed to pre contact at fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. So there's our target there. Just right at the top thing. This thing down while we're uh, doing our thing. Ten thousand. Oh, it didn't drop. Let's use your error there. Definitely dropped. Oh, there's the yeah, it dropped. Hmm. Must have done something wrong there. Oh no, there it is. Bam. Just hit. Random. Turn that off. Come back up here. See if we can see this fucking tanker. Fifteen thousand. Shit, yeah. I trust the tech in. Because it's definitely on. Tech in on two Yankee. Two Yankee. Two, two, eight. Thank you, air to air transmit receive. Definitely giving us, um, putting us in the right direction.
doing nothing seen. Where the hell is this tanker? You boys seen a nuclear tanker around here? Fuel, two one. Okay. Must be flying away from this potentially. Ah, there we go. I can see it now. Just there. Got telly. Got telly. It. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I can definitely, it's definitely there. It's right on the nose. It's kind of confused now. I've got visual. Alright, then we're going to test our, uh, our error refuel skills out in the Harrier. Interesting. Might have got board spec there. Don't know how it's going to look with the, uh, the editing. If you're going to be able to see it, it's pretty hard for me to spot on the screen. But he's right there. If you can't see him, I have Tally. Just double check. Still got cap, other cap aircraft are going home. Which kind of disturbing that we don't have any cap. So because our cap aircraft have left, um, we've still got the two F-16s, I guess. There's still two F-16s cruising around. They'll kind of stay there as long as the A-10s. Oh no, they're there as well. Where's our A-10s though? Don't tell me the A-10's got shot down. What? Are you kidding me? The A-10's are dead. What the hell got them? That's I'm blind. Get some gas on it. Maybe the A-10's went home. There's nothing left in the front line, potentially. Front line units might be all dead. We'll get some gas, we'll have a look. If the A-10s are gone, we'll um, just ask the bit. Right, so. okay. the, um, the probe. My eyeballs. Yep. Uh, trying to trim our aircraft out as best we can. Okay, control is up for you as well. You can see me fuck this up. Try and do it without night vision. Let's go ready for your contact in a second. Oh, lights for the fucking crew as well. Ready for contact. Clear contact. Clear contact. I 
nice and easy. Good if we we probably do have a light, but because I'm new to the area, can't see the light. I have to go to the old. Ugh. It's fucking blinding. Fuck it. We're going to be a little bit closer to the hose. Contact. Reverse Kobe. Return, <laughs> Nearly. Okay. It's a little bit closer. 1,500 pound, no pressure. Break away, break away, break away. Fuck. Oh, the Harrier is up there with the worst thing to refuse because it's over your left shoulder and you can't fucking see your probe you're like guesstimated it. Get some gas here. Man. That is. Harrier is. Yeah, it's up there with the worst thing to refuel. Because it's over your left shoulder. So on that one there, what I did, I kind of lined up the bottom of the fuel pod with the corner of my HUD. And that seemed to work pretty nice. I just flew form with those two in line. Don't fall out. 7 Ooh, too close back it off it's going for a turn now it's really fucking with me testing the skills out on the refuel that's for sure 4-8, who's going to get a full tank And then we'll go back to the tower, I think. That should do us Just enough excitement for the day. Because I think the A10s are gone. They got a beetle, they got shot down. Either way, uh, I've only got two bombs left, so... If they've done their job, if the A10s... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bank that the A10s have done their job and killed all the frontline units and they have RTV. That's what I'm going for. Couldn't find them. 6-4. Fuel, um, fuel gauge down here for us. Nice full. Transfer complete. Disconnect. Turn that off. Looking good, sir. Alright, so let's just put ourselves in the autopilot real quick. Let's have a quick look. JTAC. These guys are RTB. Is there any A10? No, and if 16's RTB. I reckon the A10's got shot down. By something, I don't know what. No idea. But um what? Get that on a big job. So let's punch in the tower once. So we go the tacker. 
enter and control and just transmit receive. And uh, what is it? Uh, the Saipan uh, 2T5. Alright, let's go land. That's the range there, 16. Yeah, that must be the range there. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our dump on. Even though we've grabbed all that fuel, we don't need that much to land. So we're just gonna come on down here. Dump some fuel. Established, let's call it a shoot in. Let's go commencing. So you're supposed to do all this stuff by how to do the uh, F-18. Come in from behind and do all that stuff, but because we can see the... the, uh, the ship in the way, but... Checking in. Platform. That should be it. Dumping our fuel out. We are super heavy here, so we're gonna have to do a couple of laps of the boat. A VTOL. So there she is, the smoky girl. That's where we're gonna land. Bad boy on the deck. Dump the plane. Probably shouldn't have grabbed all that gas, but you know, just had to flex at night time in the refuel. Morning time. Alright, so let's put our nozzles back to 63 ish. Flaps down. On for landing. Thousand four hundred pound of fuel, still pretty heavy. We've got bombs on board too. We'll see, we'll see how we go. Let's see how we go in the hover. Nice 
brings us back to 83 now. I think our fuel dump turns off either. What a disgusting game. Look at this landing at sunrise bullshit. Uh, there's our bingo. Dumps are off. It does turn off. Bingo. Ooh. side come across to the right now easy with it guys all right that'll do us there let's quickly close the server down or the the sortie let's go quit and i'll quickly switch this over to that all right let's have a look aircraft destroyed eight ground destroyed 23 except results we lost both our a10s what the hell got our a10s must have been f4 so there's two f4s must have got the A-10s. Son of a bitch. Cap, you useless fucks. Both A-10s destroyed. That cost us money. Fuck it. Um, hang on a sec. Sorry, guys. There we go. My bad. All right, so here we go. Uh, we lost both A-10s. Uh, an, an M2 Bradley Striker and a Hummer Armament, and they lost two F-14s, two MI-24s, two F-4s, eight M-60s, two BTR-80s, four M-113s, and five ZU-23 Shilkers. So we actually did, A-10s did some good work, but they died, unfortunately. So let's quickly, oh, come on. There we go. So we got 191 mil, and we're right at the uh the base now which is sweet all righty guys i hope you liked the video if you did make sure you hit the like button let me know in the comments if you uh enjoyed it if you want to see anything different have that throw down say it in the comments go for it uh and if you haven't already hit the youtube subscribe button we've just we're almost at the 600 now 600 subscribers which is fucking crazy so thank you guys for all the subs uh guys are champs let's see if we can get as close to a thousand by christmas i think it's a good goal good goal to aim for um and lastly but not least i do stream on twitch monday to friday at 1300 australian western standard time so if you haven't already drop on in say good day and if you've got any questions you can ask live on stream and we'll do our best to uh point you in the right direction and help you out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys on the next sortie. Peace.